This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. Today we have a Maytag dryer that is squealing and squeaking and this is usually due to worn out support rollers and they're really easy to change. So we have it unplugged and we took off the screws on the back. We're going to take off the upper panel. We're going to take out these quarter inch screws here at the top. And there's one here on this bracket that's holding the control board. One here on the right. Get those taken out. <clears throat> there's two Phillips head uh, screws here that we need to take out on the front panel. And then there's four, on this model, four quarter inch screws on the bottom panel that you take out, and then the bottom panel will come off. Just pull it towards you. It's probably good to lift up the dryer when you take out those, those screws. Give you a little more room to work. Take out these <coughs> two quarter inch screws that are on the lower right, lower left corner of the front panel. And then we're going to take out this quarter inch screw here that is at the back of the uh, bracket that's holding on the control for the dryer. And now we can lift up on the control panel to separate it. And that's going to give us a chance to take out some screws for the top of the front panel. We've got two quarter inch on the left, We've got one, one on the right. Get those taken out. And then we have these quarter inch screws here that are down at the filter ducting that attach to the blower housing. And got two at the top. And then uh, I think it's one or two near the bottom that you have to take out. These are usually gold color. Now we're going to grab the control panel and lift it off. We do got to separate this um, one modular connector here. I'm using a small standard head screwdriver to remove it. This is the bringing power to the door switch. You just have to disconnect that. <clears throat> so we pry it apart and now we can lift off the panel and get that out of the way and then we're going to disconnect the um, drum belt and to do that we're going to reach in on the lower right lower left hand corner underneath the drum we're going to push the idler wheel to the left and then pull the belt off of the smaller motor pulley we're going to lift up <clears throat> on the tumbler to get it out of the dryer and that's just so we have better access to get to those those little wheels there's another thing that can squeak too, which is the idler wheel. And that one, you can either replace it or you could lubricate it. Mm -hmm. So we're just spinning these to see if they're kind of wobbly or if they're loose. The only one that seemed a little bit loose was this idler wheel. So we're going to lubricate it. We're going to take off this plastic holder here on the front by prying it off with a standard head screwdriver. <clears throat> then we're going to pull the wheel off, put some high temperature grease on the shaft, get the shaft clean, put some of this high temperature grease on there to lubricate it. Be best at this point if you could replace the either wheel, but if you, if you don't have one, you could certainly lubricate it. We're going to twist it a little bit to this side and we're going to pull it off twist it to the other side that's just to kind of spread that grease around on the shaft whenever you have a squeak uh, the culprits are usually the uh, support wheels which we're going to change today or that either wheel so we get the support wheel off the front this is on the front panel on the bulkhead we're going to pry off this plastic piece using a standard head screwdriver. <clears throat> and 
then we'll just pull the wheel straight off. We're going to clean the shaft. And this one doesn't require any lubricant. We're just going to put, well, I'm putting the little plastic uh, retainer back on the either wheel. It just snaps on. That one's all done. And the support rollers don't need <clears throat> any lubricant. They just, you just put the new wheels on. I'm gonna pry off this one on the other other roller. <clears throat> the ones that really squeak if it's a roller is if it feels kind of wobbly, like if it's wearing out, that's probably gonna cause a squeak. And sometimes you have to replace the shaft itself, but usually they're okay. It's more often the uh, wheel itself, that part of its bearing surface gets worn out. So these are the rollers at the back of the dryer. <clears throat> I'm going to pry that one off. Pull that off, clean the shaft. And this is the last one. I'm just going to do the same procedure. wheel off make sure that's clean here's the part number for the support wheels get these at amazon.com they're pretty cheap we're just gonna just push it on and just push in on that plastic retainer it'll click right in super easy super fast this is the other one on the front there we go there's a couple for the back Okay, we got them all done. We're gonna bring the tumbler back in. We're holding it by the belt. I'm gonna lift up a little bit on the control bracket. Feed it in. Get it all the way up against the back. I'm gonna make sure the belt is right over it, the old mark where it, where it was before. I'm gonna reach in on the right and left side and we're gonna pull the either wheel to the left and we're going to loop the belt underneath it and then bring the belt over the smaller motor pulley. And then when we release tension on the other wheel, the spring tension will hold it really tight. We can see that it's definitely engaging because when we turn it, we see the blower wheel turning. We're going to do like one full revolution to make sure the belt won't come off. Now we're putting the front panel back on. We're going to line it up. Add these quarter inch screws for the uh, front panel on the top right, top left. We're going to lift up and get the hole in the panel to go up over that screw. I'm using one hand to lift it, and then I'm going to use the other hand to kind of guide it over. Got the left one, here's the right one. Same thing, we're gonna lift it. Use our other hand to guide it. There we go. All right, tighten those up. We're just tightening up the two quarter inch screws on the bottom of the front panel, bottom right, bottom left. We're gonna add those quarter inch screws onto the uh, filter ducting where it attaches to the blower housing. So those are usually gold color and the ones near the top are silver color. There we go. We're attaching the um, connector for the door switch and now we're going to put the, the control panel back on. We're going to slide it back into the bracket holding 
the controller will set that control panel back down on the front panel. I'm going to add the quarter inch screw. While we were in there too, we cleaned up the uh, lint that was on the motor and all the lint inside the cabinet before putting it back together. Putting the quarter inch screw here at the back of the control bracket. And then these are the quarter inch screws holding the control or the console onto the uh, front panel, onto the frame. that. I'm going to put those Phillips head screws back in on the front panel. <clears throat> We're just going to give it a little test while we still have it open. And all the squealing is gone. You can see the heating system fires up really good. So it's back to being a healthy dryer. Put it on the bottom panel, add the screws, put it on the top panel. I'm going to slide it in and then back toward us. And we'll add those three screws on the back. This is a good little tool to have when you need to get into tight spaces made by DeWalt. Get, got this one at Home Depot. I think it was about 20 bucks. Tighten up those screws. And we got a nice quiet dryer again. So hopefully this is helpful for you too. You get your dryer working, you get it nice and quiet. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe when you get a chance so we can send you some more videos on more appliance repairs. Thanks again.